Hey guys, and welcome to Arts Scale. So today you're in for a treat, <laughs> since what I will be showing um, you today is going to blow your minds. Well, hopefully the same way that it made me realize the full potential of GPT-4. And you know how GPT-4 can not only write copy, but it can create various things from lists to tables to quizzes. And GPT-4 is actually very good at analyzing data. And I've been using that to perform keyword clustering, topical suggestions, prompt engineering by analyzing different texts and prompts. And I thought, <laughs> what if I could upload a table into GPT-4? Yes, you heard it right. You can actually upload a table to GPT-4 and then ask it to analyze it. You know, like how every SEO tool on the market has data in tables that you can download. So what if we could turn GPT-4 and ChatGPT Plus into our own SEO AI thinking machine, our SEO advisor? And today I'll be showing you three amazing, amazing ways of how you can use the AI brain to guide your SEO decisions. So first off, let's talk about the first use case. And uh, this use case has to do with which uh, page to target when you're trying to outrank your competition. So for this to happen, we need uh, Surfer SEO or Neuron Writer, for example. So let's just say we are trying to tackle the how to start crypto mining at home topic. Then we need to look at the competition. Here it is. And as you can see, we have a lot of information here. We have the URL, obviously, but we have the content score, the Moz page authority, we have the external links, and we have the content length. So these four parameters are extremely valuable when it comes to deciding which URL or page to go after. So let's export the table. And here it is. We, we will limit this exercise to top 10 results only. And I don't want, yeah, we'll leave the Google rank, the URL, the content score, page authority. I'm, yeah, I don't want the page authority. I want the domain authority, although you can use the that one as well. External links page links. So let's use page links, page title. Yeah, we can use that as well. Uh, content length, maybe description. We don't need that. And yeah, that's it. So the beauty of ChatGPT is that you don't have to tidy up the table. I just did that for, I don't know, readability sake, but you can just straight upload it to ChatGPT and ask for concrete information. So this is our table. And you can paste it as is inside of the ChatGPT. For some odd reason, I don't know, I like to convert it into SCI, but you don't have to. You really will get the same kind of information. So this is the converted table. So now let's go to ChatGPT. So the way to go about it is to, let me, is to, I will paste in text confirm with received please go ahead and let's paste in the table received so now let's try the first prompt and now let's just assume we need to know which pages to go after and the first prompt goes like based on the provided information and we'll check it we'll change it based on the above because this prompt was uh, geared towards the open um, playground so based on the above information, suggest best URLs to outrank, target the lowest DR and the lowest number of external links. So see what it did? It analyzed the data above and is suggesting now the two URLs that have the lowest domain authority and the lowest amount of links which of the of those two have the lowest content score and mm -hmm. so it's not the ideal example but what it did basically it said that for this URL here there is no content score and that can mean anything but the content score for the other page is 53 so it's very low and it's definitely something that we can target so see how amazing this is. So we basically took a large table containing data with different factors and parameters. We set the target parameters to two, domain rating and external links. 
And then we narrowed it down to the lowest content score and we got the final answer, which is go after this URL here. So this is the use case number one. So the use case number two is to go to Storage Console. And this is one of my fresh domains about parenting. I'll go to Pages. Let's check everything. Let's download this table. So this is the table, nice and clean. So now let's let's repeat the same process. We'll prompt the GPT-4 first. Now, since I'm a little bit superstitious, I will still convert the table into the format that is more text-based. So this is our table. So say we have lots of pages and not every page needs the same amount of attention. And ideally we want to optimize the pages that have the most impressions, but uh, are low on clicks and uh, the average position is not on par. So they are getting shown, but they're not getting clicked on. And by using this technique, we can actually get a very good suggestion from the AI. So based on the provided information, here are the top 10 pages with the highest potential, lowest clicks, highest impressions, and lowest position. So how to explain cloud computing? Clicks only four, impressions 136, and position is seven. And I could have tailored this um, prompt to say that I'm only interested in the positions outside of the top 10. Based on the provided information, pick 10 pages with highest potential, lowest clicks, highest impressions, and position higher than 20. Let's see what GPT-4 does. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about. Position 34, position 20, position 26, and so on and so forth. And what I should have done, uh, I should have, before creating the, before feeding the table, I should have filtered that based on the impressions from uh, highest to lowest. I didn't do that. Shame on me, but you get the gist. So you can absolutely use ChatGPT to guide your decisions when it comes to optimizing certain pages. Now let's go to the last use case. And here we are in the free Google Keyword Planner. Say our keyword or seed keyword is AI generated art. Let's get some results. We'll get the CSV. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So this is the information. And I'm interested in average monthly searches competition and year-on-year -year change and maybe maybe the CPC as well and I've reached a GPT-4 cap <laughs> well let's try to do that with GPT-3.5 I'm actually glad that happened I'll be based in in text response with received. Our prompt is going to be based on the provided list, pick 10 keywords that are low in competition, high in CPC, high volume and trending. And when I did that in uh, GBT4, it actually created, uh, it showed statistics for each and every keyword. So hopefully it will for you. Uh, for the above 10 words display the metrics in a table format. Okay. So this is much better. So as you can see, based on the large, large table and data, it has chosen 10 keywords that are have lots of searches, are low in competition and relatively high CPC and some, some of them are trending, not all of them. But this is an amazing way to automate your keyword research and keyword filtering process. So guys, that was it. I hope you've been amazed <laughs> just as much as I was. And all these commands, as per usual, will be part of the ChatGPT prompts library. And please use this approach so every SEO tool on the planet 
Um, well, most of them are capable of exporting data in tables. And you can and you should use GPT-4 to guide your decisions because sometimes we get subjective, we get carried away. And this way you can stay objective and stay the course. Hope this video was helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers.